In this tutorial, we'll show you how to add Google Slides, Docs, Sheets, and Forms from your Google account to your Digication site. The process for Google Slides, Docs, and Sheets are similar, but Google Forms are just a little different, and I'll show you how to add that at the very end. To start, make sure you're on the page that you want to put your document on. For demonstration, I'll be using my Physical Sciences page, but you can use any page that you want to, and the process should be pretty similar, if not exactly the same. Make sure you have your title and introduction set up with an appropriate image and introduction or your course description. Then if you scroll down, you'll see that there is an area already set up for your signature assignment. If you're not going to be using a different type of assignment, such as uploading just a regular assignment from Microsoft Word or um, something like that where it's not from Google, you can go ahead and get rid of this by deleting this tab. Or if you want to have this as a placeholder, you can click on edit and just use the title as a placeholder. So you could save this, for example, and then make sure you publish. You can publish in the tab or you can publish up at the top. All right, so to add your Google assignment, go to the top where you can add a module. And you'll see that there's a whole tab dedicated to Google. If you click on this, you'll see the different types of Google assignments and things like that that you can put in from your account. So like I said, these first three are going to be a pretty similar process and Google Forms are going to be different. And I won't be talking about Google Calendars in this tutorial. So I'll demonstrate one of these. So go ahead and choose the one that you want. I'll be choosing presentation. For this then once you choose the one that you want click on add a module and so for the three types of assignments that I showed you it's going to show your module here at the top and so we'll have to move this at the end but to start you'll see all the directions that it has for you in order to show you how to put your assignment in it just says you have to go to file you look for publish to web and then you just want to so choose your settings and then you're grabbing the link to place in here so it's pretty easy and then you just save and publish so this is my presentation on my google account if you go to file you're looking for publish to the web same thing if you're on google sheets file and then publish to the web and finally google docs file publish to the web so it's all the same so since i chose presentation i'm going to go to file and I'm going to choose publish to the web and like I said you can choose your settings so I can choose for it to go every two seconds I can have it play as soon as it loads and I can have it restart after the last slide whatever I choose I want to make sure I set that before I publish once you're ready to publish click on publish and then just click on ok because it's asking you if you're sure you want to publish it then the link is going to be provided here for you so all you need to do is just right click copy Go to your Digication and paste that in the presentation URL or whatever URL you have at the bottom of the page. So paste and then save. You can also preview if you want to, but I'm sure it's going to look just fine. Then make sure you publish and then you can click on view. So this is what it's going to look like. These are all my slides and all I need to do now is to just reorder. So if you're still using the old beta version, if you click to try to reorder, it's gonna tell you that you have to do it in the design tab. So if you have a design tab, then you'll have to use your design tab. If you don't have a design tab and you can just drag this to reorder, it's pretty easy. You can just drag this all the way down to where it says signature assignment. So I would put it right underneath. But since I do have a design tab, I have to use that. So I'm gonna click on design. And then I'm gonna click on my presentation and it should allow me to move it. So once you get this cross on your cursor, just go ahead and drag it down. And like I said, we're gonna be putting it right underneath where it says signature assignment, right there. So once you let go, make sure you publish on the left side and confirm. Okay, and now you can go back to your edit tab and continue editing, or you can go ahead and add another assignment. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add Google Forms. It's just slightly different. So add your module and click on Google and then choose on Form. Then add your module. 
and again it's going to place it on top it's going to give you some instructions here so the difference between the sheets docs and slides and this form is that instead of looking for publish to web this time you're looking for send form and then you're going to grab the link from there so this is my google form to find the link you just click on send and it's this button here that looks kind of like a link and then you can just click on the link and copy this and it's the same process from there so you just go ahead and click here to paste and then you can save this and publish and then you can go ahead and view this and there's your form just make sure you move this like I said if you don't have a design tab you can use this if you have a design tab go ahead and click on design and then click on your form to place it wherever you want so I'm just gonna be placing it right underneath my assignment because I'm gonna pretend that that's part of my signature assignment and then publish and confirm and then you can go ahead and go back to your edit tab so that's how you do that like I said if you need to add stuff from your Google account click on add a module click on Google choose the type of document that you want to use these first three are the same they will be the option that you have to publish to the web and Google Forms are going to be sending the link as you can see here so that's how you add assignments and different things from your Google account. Thanks for watching.